Impact happens only when innovation meets relevance, when the innovation is directed to some burning problem in the world. What the Dishpande Center has done is it's found a very methodical way to connect faculty and the graduate students to relevance. We were working on some new technologies to make microparticles, and at some point we realized there was commercial interest here. We always had commercialization in the back of the mind. This was always a very applied project. The Dishpande Center helped us form those ideas and actually come up with an application that would have real value in the real world. Had it not been for Deshpande, it's unlikely that the ideas that we proposed would ever have found their way into patients. It gave us a kick to be able to start doing the key experiments to really nail down what this technology was capable of. Whether it's in medicine, in energy, and communications, we are creating the new technologies that are going to really change the way people live. We started the Dishpande Center at MIT about 10 years ago just to create more opportunities for entrepreneurs. The role of the Dishpande Center is to select interesting ideas that, if successful, could have commercial impact, help direct those ideas towards the commercial marketplace, and then connect the projects to the marketplace and the venture community. The biggest thing that the MIT Dishpande Center has done is brought the faculty and the graduate students to the real world and brought the real world to MIT. Starting a company was a way to make an impact that was bigger than what I could achieve simply by giving talks and writing papers. They may have worked on some idea for a long time, it's mature, and what the center does is it connects that idea with the opportunity marketplace. So it not only provided the funds that I couldn't acquire otherwise, but it also provided guidance that I wouldn't otherwise had. We have the solvent tank, the contaminated water tank. We are working on uh, water treatment technology to treat the water that is produced from unconventional oil and gas extraction. As the gas and oil is produced, out comes with it highly saline and highly contaminated water. We came to the Dishpande Center after having proven the science behind these technologies. For us, it was funding to bridge one to one and a half year or so while operating a little bit like a startup, but still within the safe confines of MIT. And then when we actually are looking to get out of MIT now, it's, it's made us look so much stronger. The thermal barrier is the limiting factor to improving computing power. The project right now is centered around a cooling device, sort of revamping the heat pipe, redesigning it from the ground up. Having seen what venture capital and angel investment would like to see as far as the technology development, it doesn't leave much room for projects in the stage that we're at. The resources that we've gotten from the Dishpande Center have really been integral to helping us start out our lab. The success of the Dishpande Center at MIT is not just to see the impact at MIT, but to really see a big impact on the U.S. economy, which we badly need at this point. I think it'll be excellent if MIT becomes a role model for lots of other universities. Innovation and entrepreneurship can be one of the fantastic tools to really change the world.